Can you install the NVIDIA driver with MSI mode enabled? Are you looking to squeeze more performance out of your video card? There is a way to do this. First, you'll need to download an app called NVCLEAN STALL. Simply Google search it and download the latest version. Step 2. Launch the app. By default, it will launch and select the first option. That is, download the latest NVIDIA Game Ready Driver from NVIDIA's website. At the time of this video, selecting the first option will download the Game Ready Driver 445.87. If you want to select an older version, simply select the second option. If you previously downloaded the driver and simply want to use it, you can select the third option. Now, I don't recommend selecting the last option or checking the box in the bottom. It creates a task on startup to check for updates. If you're new to this channel or interested in this type of content, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Also, consider following me on Twitter and sharing this video if you find value in it. I don't have the latest official update downloaded, so I'll choose the first option. One of the nice features of this app is you select what components to install. There's lots of components like USB-C drivers, GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Shield. There are three options on the bottom right, minimum, recommended, and all. Minimum is bare bones, simply just install the video driver only, nothing else. If you want PhysX and HD audio over HDMI, you can select recommended. If you want everything, you can choose select all. For me, I'm going to select recommended, plus I'm going to check USB-C because I may end up using the USB-C driver on my NVIDIA 2080 Ti. It's important to note that if you want recommended, but also GeForce Experience, you need to select the required components such as NV container, telemetry, NV backend, and Node.js. After making your choices, hit next. The driver will now download. Here I'm presented with a few additional options. I'll select the first option and the fourth option. Within the fourth option, I'll select both options. Disable NVIDIA HD Audio Device Sleep Timer and enable MSI or Message Signal Interrupts. Note this is MSI mode. If you did select GeForce Experience earlier, don't disable the first option as GeForce Experience may not work properly after you installed the driver. The drivers have been installed. Now I'll close NV Clean Install. Note for MSI mode to be enabled, you'll need to either reboot or disable and re-enable the NVIDIA driver. It saves downloading the MSI mode utility file after all, so I guess it's a step in the right direction, right? This next part is important. Let's say I had issues with this driver crashing or locking up. Something weird. It's good to check and see if NVIDIA made a hotfix driver for the issues I'm experiencing. Simply search Google and type NVIDIA hotfix driver. As it turns out, a hotfix is available for the 445.87 driver. It's 445.98. Anytime a hotfix is made by NVIDIA, it's generally beta. It could address the issues being experienced or introduce a weird behavior. Ideally, some of the fixes I've encountered could be resolved here. If I decide I want to install this driver, I can simply run NV clean install again but this time choose the third option, use driver files on disk. Simply browse for the driver and follow the same process as before. Remember to reboot or disable and then re-enable the display driver for MSI mode to take effect. If you've ever used the interrupt affinity policy tool, you'll need to reapply those settings again. If you don't use it, don't worry about what I just said but if you've used it before, you need to reapply it. NV Clean Stall has their own forum for support, which you can also find in the video description. Let me know in the comments if this has been helpful. What would you like to see next? Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, follow on Twitter.
here's a couple of videos you might like. Until then, I'll see you next time. Take care.